Music is extremely important. Like right now with this track, I look like I mean business. Like I could be a hero in a movie. Music is extremely important. Like right now with this track, I look like I mean business. And with that song, maybe I'm not up to good after all. With the right music, you're able to show the intentions of a character, add humor, and even make people cry. You know, if that's your thing. Music can also be done really badly. This track is just distracting. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> and this track is just plain bad. Ugh. Today, we are gonna show you how to use music to shape the mood of your video into a movie level production. Let's go. Hello and welcome back to Tips and Tricks. I'm Maya and there is no Dan. Dan is, um, he's busy, apparently. So you're just gonna have to deal with me, but to be honest, it'd probably be better that way because I actually read the scripts, apparently. Before we get into today's video, make sure you are subscribed because we share content weekly to help you grow your business, improve your content, and maybe learn a few new skills for free. And believe me, these things could cost you a lot of money. So yeah, subscribe. Today, we're gonna show you the power of music and how it really can make or break a video. We want to show you how easily you can use music to transform your videos, but also things to avoid when using music. Because as you saw before, it can very easily ruin your videos. First, a little theory. <laughs> so you would think happy scene equals happy music. Simple, right? Well, not always, especially in film. Sometimes if you want to evoke an emotion in an audience, often playing a contrasting song can be just as or arguably more emotional than playing a sad song over a sad scene. If you want to watch this done really, really well, watch any Pixar movie. I mean, we've all cried watching up, let's be honest. They often use slow, yes, but often happy tracks to evoke emotion in sad scenes. When I say happy, this often refers to the chords that are used. So major equals happy, minor equals sad. Pixar are masters at doing this because they create a theme. The theme is used to introduce characters such as Carl and Ellie in Up. It is used throughout the happy scenes of them together, their relationship, and you then link that song to their relationship. It is then used in possibly the saddest scene in movie history. Spoiler alert, when Ellie dies. I need a moment. <laughs> to add to this, the solo piano track is then used again when Carl gives Russell the Ellie badge, which makes us cry again. Without even noticing, because it's so subliminal, it's just music in the background, we are taken back to how Carl felt when he lost Ellie and how he wouldn't let Russell in but ultimately creates a bond with him that helps heal his heart. Making the scene a million times more emotional. <laughs> I'm not crying, you are. You are. Adam is. Sadly, I cannot claim these ideas as my own. I mean, I know you all thought I was really smart then. There's a brilliant video by Sideways here on YouTube that goes through all of this. We will leave it linked down below in the description box. So do check it out if you're a nerd like me and likes watching stuff like that in your free time, like me. This mismatch technique can also be used in other scenes such as fight scenes. Using happy, energetic, or iconic songs can help make the scene iconic itself or seem a little bit crazy. So this technique is good to keep in mind for longer form videos, documentaries, films, stuff like that. But your average YouTube video where this might not necessarily work, there are some simple rules to keep in mind. What mood are you trying to convey? How do you want people to feel when they watch your video? Let's say you have a load of travel footage and you want to create a short little social media video to remember your time. Random clips of footage that have no real start or end can be really difficult to piece together until you add music. So think to yourself, how was the trip? This is some footage of my trip to Thailand. A heavy metal track will probably not work. A dance track could work, not the kind you hear in Ibiza, but maybe with a more tropical undertone like this. Yeah, it works, but it's not perfect. 
The perfect track for this bit of footage is one that reminds me of the trip, the whole mood of it all. The happy, slow, but adventurous days in Thailand, so it needs a song to match, like this. You shall not pass. This is Sparta. All right, I got to put my hands here. My hands are in a really compromising place right now. Music is a powerful tool to tap into nostalgia, which is often likely to prompt happy memories, which is then linked to your business and can even lead to generating more revenue and visibility. Older audiences will enjoy the stroll down memory lane and younger audiences will enjoy the memories that they have of it too, if they do have the memories of it, you know, depending how young they are. Music can also help set the scene location-wise, tapping into people's travel memories. Starting off a travel vlog to Morocco with some traditional Moroccan music gives the audience a fully immersive experience of where your video is taking them, while bringing a few memories back. Ask yourself, will lyrics work? Doesn't want to be in the video, doesn't want to not be in the video. Oh yeah, now you do, don't you? Star of the show now, I can't handle it, can you? Ask yourself, will lyrics work? That's why I'm sat here pretending I am about to start a music video. Do you get that vibe? Because that's the vibe I'm trying to give off. Music should enhance and not distract. So in the majority of our videos, we don't use music with lyrics because we are talking, so it would be distracting. Even songs that have the oohs or the ooh yes, we don't use them, we just avoid them. But in some videos, it can be used instead of a script. Say you have a love scene, two lovers looking across the room at each other longingly. The lyrics of the song can help explain their story. It can tell viewers the journey the lovers have been on and how much they love each other. Remember, sometimes no music creates just as much impact. Nah, I refuse to do it in here. I'm running out of places to film. I know we've been going on about the importance of music, so hear me out. In some scenes, it's actually better to use no music or cut the music and return to it. We use this in most of our videos to add humour. You've probably seen it or noticed it. Maybe you haven't noticed it because it's really subliminal, but it really does add a cue of where the joke is. This scene is not funny without music and pretty boring. You might even miss the part where you're meant to laugh. This isn't a Friends episode, so there's no audience laugh as the cue. Add some music and it's already more engaging. Cut it to where the funny bit is meant to be and there you are slapping the viewer in the face with the funny section. They cannot miss it. Sorry, what the hell is you Sorry. Because let's face it, unless the viewers know you, they probably aren't gonna find your funny little quirks funny unless you slap them in the face with it. See what I did there? Boring tracks are better than no tracks. If your video doesn't fall into any of these examples, perhaps it's a tutorial, then don't skip on the music. Maybe just avoid lyrics, but you still want to be having some music in there. Sometimes boring is best. It's there to set the tone of the video, but it's not there to distract. It's there to be in the background and keep the video interesting, but not take away from what you're saying. So if it's a fun video filled with loads of jokes, you can use a really upbeat track and use the technique I just mentioned in the other tip. <laughs> If it's a serious video, maybe you can use a slower piano piece to show respect for the topic you're discussing. <laughs> ah. Make sure you keep the volume low, and if the whole video is only in one scene, keep it to the same track. This way, it can be kept in the background. If you change the music midway through and the scene hasn't changed, it can be distracting and the viewers can actually then notice it, and then they will notice it throughout the whole video, and it will become distracting, so just avoid that. Unless it's a vlog, then you can use different tracks to match different scenes. So like in this video, I've changed scene about 500 times. Different songs would work to fit the mood of each scene. <sighs> Dan, where are you? It's over there. <laughs> Videos tip. A great technique to create a fully immersive experience and really draw your viewers into the on-screen world you are creating is to use transdigetic. I think I'm saying that right. Digetic, transdigetic. I'm dyslexic, so words not my forte. Diegetic. Is that it? Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Transdiegetic music. The technique involves you starting off, or you can do it the other way around, really, if you wanted to, starting off with diegetic music, which is music that's played in the scene. So if I was to play music on my laptop. And then switching to non-diegetic music, which is 
the tracks that you add to the same track in post-production. So it's now over this scene, no longer coming directly from my laptop, and it takes the viewer through that journey. So say you had a scene of someone driving and the song started off on the radio, the driving along, and then suddenly the song is being played over the actual track. It's a fully immersive experience. And there you have it, how you can use music to shape and affect the tone and mood of your video. Music really is a make or break tool and with it you can create amazing content or really bad content. But don't worry, with these tips you will be fine because we've got you. And if you want to improve your videos even more, how about checking out videos? Animations are a great way to step up your video game from basic to professional. Videos is a custom animation platform where you can create custom animations, as I've just explained. <laughs> you can add your logo, add images, tweak the colors, tweak the music, and create a one-of-a-kind animation to be used as intros, to be used as lower thirds, to be used as outros. We honestly have so many to pick from. There are over 1,500 different templates to choose from, and animations can really, as I said, step up your videos. We use them throughout the video, as you would have noticed. Your video will look 10 times more professional when you have an intro, an outro, and cool little animations saying, hey, my name's Maya, or blah, 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 blah. Otherwise, you can look very PowerPoint presentation-esque with your random little slideshows, you know? We want to avoid that in life, to be honest. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so we can be seen by more people and help more people. That's the goal in life. And comment down below the kind of content you would like to see on here next. I will see you next time. Bye. Am I out of shot?